So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do min comparisons when data is not normally distributed. Okay. So we have seen that we could do some min comparisons from here. And these options are for parametric data. But what about data is not normally distributed and we have to do non-parametric test. Then we have to come here. Okay. So for one sample, we click, click here when we have one distribution and we have a hypothesized value to compare with, then we'll go for one sample. When we compare two different samples, mean of two different samples, we'll go for independent samples. When we have multiple times data collected repeatedly in multiple times, then we'll go for repeated samples. Okay, so that's how it is. But actually, interestingly, if you just pick one of them, and if you with this version of SPSS, if you just pick one of them, I'm, I'm using the SPSS 25 version. So if you just click one of them and put your data, it will have choose the appropriate test automatically. So let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm picking independent samples here. So automatically compare distribution across groups. Okay. And I'll go to field. I will put my data here. So let's say I want to pick three category so I'll just put the group here okay so if you want to compare with two groups just put the two group variable here so whatever you want so I'm putting three groups here okay and I'll click run and you'll see it will pick yeah it picked independent samples cruise call Wallis test okay. this is the appropriate test when we have more than two categories and data is non-parametric and here you see the significance value is 0, 0, 0, 0, and we reject the null hypothesis, which is also given here. The distribution of the reading score is the same across categories of type of program. So we reject it. That means there is a significant difference across group for the reading score. Okay, so that's how we can do non parametric test. So if you like the video, please comment, share, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.